What is the seven line is a very hard question to answer. Today, it's a licensed Major League Baseball brand. I make Mets stuff, but it originally started because I just wanted to go to more baseball games. At the time, I didn't know this was gonna be a business. I was printing t-shirts out of my parents' basement in 2009. 10 seasons later, we now have a license with Major League Baseball, partnerships with companies like New Era and Majestic, it kind of spawned into something so much bigger than just printing a couple t-shirts. The Seven Line's a community, it's a fan base, it's a family. I pinch myself every day that this is something I actually get to do for a living. If you think back to the roots of my BMX days and the, the companies that I liked the most, they were all do-it-yourself, rider-owned. So we didn't purchase bikes from Toys R Us or Target or whatever. We would purchase bikes by other riders who made their own stuff. So when I was starting the Seven Line, I tried to use that exact same formula. Print it myself, make it myself, sell it to my fellow Mets fans, and that's something that derives directly from BMX. I was trying to bring elements from that sport into baseball, which was build a community of fans that understood what I was doing. Fans like our model more than the competitors or the other guy because they're a part of it. The Seven Line, since it's such a specific brand just for Mets fans, it's people ask, you know, why don't I make Yankee shirts or why don't I make a, a, the, make the Seven Line for Houston Astros fans? It's because it's not what it is. I'm a Mets fan. I've been a Mets fan my whole life. For me to make stuff for other teams would be so phony and not genuine, not real. And that's the reason why I think fans like what we do. It is very specific and it's kind of hard if you think about it for a company to just be one team. The way that we try to connect with the fans on a passionate level is that we're out there. You know, I'm at the games. I'm, I'm very visible. I'm on Twitter every night reacting to things that are happening in the game. The group outings is really what propelled us to the next level. We're an apparel company. So for us to start buying tickets, it wasn't exactly under the same business model or website model for us to then start selling tickets on a website. We were buying thousands of tickets a year and that just got, caught the attention of Major League Baseball and we sat down and worked out a deal. We have quite a few partnerships, obviously, as the brand grew and we started working with Major League Baseball and New Era, Majestic makes our jerseys. There's a certain way that you have to not only tap into the fan base, but know what they want. And you can't stick around if you're working in a way that's just like flavor of the month or a hot topic. That doesn't last. It's unfair for me to say there's no competition, but as far as like a fan run brand for the Mets, there is none. This is it. And Major League Baseball took a huge gamble on us when this became a, a, a real official thing back in 2014. And I'm proud that we are the only official licensed brand for Mets fans run by Mets fans. We try to offer something different. And I like that for what we are doing, there is no competition.